It is one of Helena's oldest neighborhoods. The Rodney Street neighborhood is this funky little neighborhood nestled right in historic Helena. Here you'll find mansions and ordinary houses on the same block. It's really quite a melting pot. Amanda Reese lives in the neighborhood. It's always kind of served a mix of people. The neighborhood's anchored by Lewis and Clark County's 140-year-old courthouse. With the history of this courthouse, there has definitely been some, some stories of, of the Wild West, and we were able to kind of show that through the uh, public art. Just in this neighborhood alone, there's over 50 historical register markers and over 25 pieces of public art. Amanda is a designer and an artist in residence with the Myrna Loy's Rodney Street Project. That's the Myrna Loy Theater. Helena's own Myrna Loy would become one of Hollywood's greatest movie stars, but that's a whole other story. Long before it was a performing arts and cultural center, the Myrna Loy was the county jail. Kind of rough around the edges. Rough around the edges, rich and poor, a glamorous film star. What more could an artist want? That's part of Rodney's charm, is it's, it's an uncut gem, um, and that's kind of the way we like it. Through the Myrna Loy, the public art project brought artists from all over the state. They studied the area's history and took community surveys of what residents wanted. The Rodney Street neighborhood has always been a rebel, marching to its own drumbeat. Years ago, it said no to urban renewal. In the 1970s, when urban renewal was coming through town, uh, this neighborhood really resisted um, a lot of that demolition. But time took its toll. The neighborhood needed major upgrades. Uh, this Rodney Street project was to align with reconstruction of, of the street and the neighborhood. We developed some projects to make this place more livable and walkable yep. and more That's vibrant fine. for everyone. Here's Helena history long before mining camps, before statehood, before everything. It's called Native Land by Lewis Still Smoking. He's one of the most exciting contemporary artists in Montana and is from Browning, Montana. This mural was a great opportunity to be able to highlight some present members of uh, the Native community across Montana. Like grass dancer Casey Nicholson and relay rider Linwood His Bad Horse Jr. This is the J.E. Allen livery building. It was built in 1885. The building is now used for county maintenance and storage. On the garage door is a recreation of a photograph taken in this building in the late 1800s. It takes you back in time. Who was maybe standing here and how this building was being used over 100 years ago. Amanda herself created the commissioner's garage sign. She wanted to tell people what the building is, what its purpose is. The design is based off of an old safe that I've found in the uh, county Courthouse. For years, the windows above were covered with plywood. Artist David Goodson changed that. He wanted to tell the story of the neighborhood's past, present, and future. Here's the courthouse clock tower destroyed and never replaced after the 1935 earthquake. In the 1870s, Sheriff Seth Bullock oversaw the execution of a horse thief named Watson, who in a gunfight shot the sheriff in the shoulder. Watson was prepped to be hanged. A mob appeared to scare off the executioner. But Bullock climbed the scaffold and pulled the lever, sending Watson to his death, and then held off the mob with a shotgun. Helena is known for our mountain biking trails, and at the end of Rodney Street ends in a trailhead. So this tells the story of kind of where our history is going. On the west side of the livery building is Kelly Rathbone Rebel's project. She took photographs of various neighborhood residents and members of the community and then painted those into these vintage looking watercolors to match the aesthetic of the building. So this is Johnny. Uh, this is a local bartender here at Jester's Bar. Sure. This is James Riddle. So this is uh, Nelia Warden, who's a local high schooler here in the neighborhood. They're artistic profiles of people who call the neighborhood home. So these are the Rodney Peacocks by Sophia Mathis. Uh, Rodney Street was named after one of the first men to die in Helena, Dr. Rodney Pocock. But everyone pronounced Dr. Pocock's name wrong. They called him Peacock. It's a gateway into the neighborhood and a symbolism for the folks who live here because we are proud, loud, and sassy. Amanda calls it a creative community in the heart of historic Helena. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.